I want to give our praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahabshai, Ba'ashim, Rakai Kodash, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. This lesson is going into that when we all come into truth, okay, and we believe, we hear the gospel, all right, we accept it in our mind, we come to an agreement within our heart, within our spirit, that we're going to trust on Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahabshai. We're going to have faith on Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahabshai. They are our power, okay? And we believe that. All right. Now, when Yahweh Shah came on the scene, he was teaching the disciples the same thing. OK, when he called the disciples, when they were called. OK, and they answered that phone call and started following Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah was teaching them this. All right. How you ought to think dealing with us, how you ought not to fear dealing with us. Do you believe or not? Okay, where is your faith? Multiple, multiple different stories that we can learn from. All right, the scriptures is written for our learning. And this is serious, man. All right, if you're walking around and you think these stories are corny or you get bored, man, then your faith is a whack. Let me repeat that. If you hear lessons of faith, okay, and you can't really get serious with it in your heart, in your mind, to the point where it touches you, something wrong with you. and You need, you need to check that at the door. All right. Just want to make that point to the spirit. All right. So let's start at Mark chapter four, verse thirty five. And the same day when the evening was come, he said unto them, let us pass over unto the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. And there was also with him other little ships. And there arose a great storm of wind and the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full. Now, that's a serious, serious storm. OK, had to be serious for the waves to beat against the ship, meaning it was hitting the ship hard, tossing the ship back and forth. OK, flooding the ship. You had water going on the ship from the waves. That's how high it was, man. OK, so this is a reality. All right. Verse 38. And he was in the hinder part of the ship asleep on a pillow and they awake him and said unto him, Master, Cares thou not that we perish? Right. So they thought carnally first. But this was a lesson, man. This is a lesson for them. And this is a lesson for us to bring in our life, man. Okay. That's why we walk by faith and not by sight. The sight of what they saw was a big old storm of water. They in the sea and they're like, man, surely we're going to die. Okay. It's over for us, man. They didn't think to trust upon your how about you, me how shy. Okay. And considering that Yahweh Shai was physically there with them on the ship. Okay. So they should have thought even further that, you know, why would you drown with Yahweh Shai? Like, why would that be if you believe that's Yahweh Shai? Okay. That's another point. Verse 39. And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. So in that moment, what was Yahweh Shai showing the disciples? He was showing them like, look, man, my father and I are in control and the angels, we are in control of everything. OK, we're in control, man. We control this. So what are you scared for, man? OK, see, that was an example to show them you don't have to be scared of what you see. If you believe that we are with you, if you have made your mind up that we are with you, OK, we got to take that for what it is, man. Okay, so when you came into this truth, okay, myself came into this truth, we all, if we believe, we have to think like this, what Yahweh Shah was teaching him, man. Okay, you have that great calm in your spirit. No matter what you see, you have that great calm in your spirit because you remember what the scriptures say. You remember in your heart, in your mind, that Yahweh Shah is with me, so who can be against me or what can be against me? Okay, let's read that again, verse 39. And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? Mm. Now, in reality, in the norm, that would make somebody fearful. But guess what? In the normal situation, the average people don't believe in Yahweh Shema Shai. Okay? The average people have a false god. But when you come into this truth, you have the real power on your side. 
So why should you be fearful? We understand why an average person should be fearful, but if you believe in your high about Shema was shy, you're not average because he's with you. That's the power, you see? Your faith in your high about Shema was shy and those names and and in this gospel, that's the power you have. Versus the other people, man. Okay? That is what makes you separate. Let's read that again, verse 40. And he said it to them, Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? Right, man. How is it you have no faith? Come on, think about that, man. See, he was making them think, man, about the situations, man. Okay? How is it that you have no faith, man? You thought it was all over? So, in these situations, what you see in your life right now, no matter what you see, you think spiritual first. You think faith first. You think belief first. Okay? Don't get consumed with what you're seeing on that storm. Okay? Then water's hitting your ship, your personal ship in your life. Don't, don't get consumed with that because we walk by faith and not by sight. David didn't get consumed with how big Goliath was. And that he had whooped everybody ass before. <laughs> Put a lot of people to death. People were afraid of him. David didn't get consumed with that. Judas Maccabees didn't get consumed with the number that was against them. That was way bigger than them. Okay. In war. Judas Maccabees didn't get consumed with that. Now the people that were with him. The man that were with him got scared. But he calmed them down. Like look man. He reminded them of the things of old. And that's what we're doing. We can go back to the stories of old. And remind each other that we don't have to be afraid. Okay? We have no reason to be afraid whatsoever. If we know Yahweh Hashem Shai. If they're with us. We have no reason to be afraid, man. Ain't nothing too hard for the Lord. No matter what situation you're in. So that's how important it is to really read these scriptures and these stories and really apply them. Okay? Let's read that again, verse 40. He said it to them. Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? And they feared exceedingly and said one to another, what manner of man is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? Right. So at that moment, they're like, wow, man, the wind and the sea obey him. Okay. So that means the spirits, the elements obey. Okay. And the power you believe in, the power we believe in, all the elements and the spirits are subject unto them. So what the hell do we have to be afraid of, man? Either you believe that or you don't. Either you believe that all the spirits are subject to your high about your mouth shy or these spirits are just doing their own thing. If you believe these spirits are doing their own thing, then you should be very, very afraid. <laughs> okay? That's when you should be afraid. Okay? But when they have a boss and they have to answer to your high about your mouth shy and that same power is with you, whoo! Think about how powerful that is for you. Not fearful, how powerful that is for you. Okay? And that's how a spiritual man thinks. All right? Because we read about him. All right? From there, let's go to Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage? Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord, Yahweh thy God, is with thee, wheresoever thou goest. Right, man. Whether it be on the ship, in the sea, okay, and waves going on the ship, whether it be... Uh, a big army coming against you and it's just you, whether you run across a big old lion and the lion's den, I'm with you wherever you go. That's the power, man. And it takes you to really get spiritual to believe that. It takes you to take faith seriously and believe seriously. The shield of faith, seriously. Okay? This is the engine of this truth, man. Okay? It's undeniable that faith and belief is the engine of this truth. Without that, it's over for you. No matter what you know, no matter how smart you think you are, it don't matter. Okay? It does not matter. Now, from there, let's go to Mark chapter 5. We're going to start at verse 31. Get to the point. It says, And his disciples said unto him, Thou seest the multitude thronging thee, and sayest thou, Who touched me? And he looked round about to see her that had done this thing. Right? The woman that had an issue with her blood. Right? She wanted to touch uh, Yahweh Shai's garment, man. She believed she had that faith. And she believed that it would make her whole. All right. So let's keep reading. Verse 33. But the woman fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him and told him all the truth. And he said unto her, Daughter, thy faith has made thee whole. Right. Thy faith hath made thee whole. 
Right. So that faith, okay, the just shall live by faith, as the scripture says, that's what makes us whole, man. That's what we live by. You want to survive? Live by faith and not by sight of what you see. Don't let it shake you, man. Don't be afraid of sudden fear, meaning quick things, you know, meaning things happen out of nowhere, man. Boom. You're like, oh, shit. You don't have to be afraid of that. Okay. The scriptures talk about not being afraid of sudden fear. All right. It says, thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. Right. And be whole of thy plague. Okay. Man, that's the power, man. That's the power of faith. Verse 35. While he yet spake, there came from the ruler of the synagogue's house certain which said, Thy daughter is dead, while troubles thou the master any further. Verse 36. As soon as Yahweh heard the word that was spoken, he said unto the ruler of the synagogue, Be not afraid, only believe. Key word, only believe. And that's what Yahweh was telling the disciples on the ship. Where's your faith, man? You're supposed to only believe. Okay, if you believe in us, then you're supposed to carry that daily with you that you believe in us. Show us, man. Only believe. We have the power. We control the elements. Okay? Understand what being a Hebrew Israelite really means for you. A believing Hebrew Israelite. Not just those guys who claim to be Hebrews. You know, I believe, blah, 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 but they really don't believe. They just talking shit. You know, they walk around in the hype of being an Israelite. But be that real, true Hebrew Israelite, okay? The seed of Abraham, a faithful Abraham, okay? Because Abraham got that blessing and got the promises through faith, you know? We know it was predestined, but it was predestined to be through faith. Come on now. All right? Let's end it on this. Psalm 62, verse 8. Trust in him at all times. Right, man. Have faith in him at all times. You people. Pour out your heart before him. Yahweh is a refuge for us. And that's what you're going to understand. That's what Yahweh was showing the disciples once again. We are your refuge. Okay? Your refuge, man. Your protection. Your shelter. No matter what you see, it don't matter, man. We can stop it. We can make it go forth. Okay? That's beautiful to understand that wisdom. That's what it means that wisdom shall be, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time meaning daily it's wisdom to know that man that's wisdom all right so i hope this was edifying to all you brothers and sisters man to build you up in the spirit to really focus on this in your life because you need it you ain't promised tomorrow so show your how about you was shot today that you believe in them fully and that you're not going to be afraid anymore of what you see okay you just going to believe and that's it with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rekha, Kodash, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. Double honors to the Elder Great Millstone, and Shalom to Yahweh, that is doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.